Okay, dear students, let us read this question. What is there? Light of wavelength lambda is incident normally on a diffraction grating that has a slit separation of 7 lambda divided by 2. So this is the slit separation that is given and we're talking about diffraction grating. What is a diffraction grating? Diffraction grating is a device which is having small slits, very thin slits and which are like very, very high in number. 600 slits in one millimeter, 700 slits in one millimeter. It is like that. So that device is known as diffraction grating and we are illuminating with it. And that is why you see the slit separation is really very small. It's seven by two into lambda. What is the greatest number of maxima that can be observed using this arrangement? Obviously, there will be this kind of a pattern and uh, it would be modulated with the diffraction pattern. So this is a diffraction. The interference will be somewhat like this. So we want to find like how many uh, maximas will be visible. We want to see that. How do we do it? So what we do is we say that, okay, we want, we know that the path difference, it will be D sine theta because at the end of the day, interference is taking place. So we are using the formula for the interference. Diffraction is only modulating the wave, nothing else. So D sine theta is equal to N lambda in case of constructive interference because we are interested in the maximums. Now, accordingly, we can say that sine theta is equal to n lambda divided by d. Okay, so now this sine theta should be lesser than or equal to 1. This is the condition that we use to find the value of n. So n into the wavelength that you are using, which can be taken as lambda, and d can be taken as 7 lambda divided by 2. It should be less than or equal to 1. So lambda lambda gets cancelled out, 2 will go into the numerator. So n is lesser than or equal to 7 by 2, which is 3.5. n is an integer and it has to be lesser than 3.5. So what is the maximum value of such an n? 3. So yes, okay. Again, there is another catch here. I was just surprised there. Okay, so n is coming out to be equal to 3. Now, what does this mean? This means that apart from the central maxima, there are three other maximas that are visible. So the pattern will look like this, uh, like 1, 2, 3, central maxima, 1, 2, 3. So this is the pattern that is visible. So it is 1, 2, and 3. This is central maxima, which is not considered in this n. So this is one extra and three here more. So overall it is six plus one, seven. So seven maximas will be visible. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. This question is belonging to diffraction grading, which is really very important. Practice makes you best. That is the only method of learning these questions. Okay, my dear students, all the best. Oh, let us uh, verify the answer. And yes, you can see the answer is C. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.